Hey what's going on guys Tanmay of Telusco Learnings and in this video tutorial of JavaScript we are going to be taking a look at the while loop control statement so in the previous video we saw the for loop and we saw a practical program based on for loop so if you have missed that video you can check it out in the previous video of this playlist so with that being said let's start off with while loop now while loop is again similar to for loop because it is an entry controlled looping control statement which means that the condition is checked first however as i mentioned in the previous video of for loop for loop is used when you know the number of iterations okay so when you know specifically how many times you want to perform an activity you use the for loop so the while loop is preferred or used when you don't know the number of iterations but you know that a particular condition is going to be true for certain number of times so i'll explain to you in detail but let's just first see the question number 1 and we'll first type in the code for the while loop so you can see we have to print five odd numbers using while loop okay so this is a very simple question let's start off with the syntax so we type in while so that's the keyword opening and closing round brackets and the body of the while in curly braces so inside this unlike for loop we don't have three different parts we only have one single condition and until that condition is going to be true this while loop will execute itself so now we have to print five odd numbers first five odd numbers using while loop right so i'm just going to initialize one variable over here i'm going to say var x and i'm going to give the value of 1 So one is our very first odd number, right? So that's why I gave it one. And now in the condition, what I'm going to say is x less than equal to ten, or I can also say x less than ten because the first five numbers are going to be one, three, five, seven, and nine, right? So they are going to be very well under ten. So that's why I gave x less than ten. Now inside the while loop, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out the x value. So I'm going to say document dot write in the h1 tag. and then i'm just going to append the value of x close the h1 tag and save this so what i did over here is i'm just printing out this x value but now you can notice that if we just try to print this and if we just try to run this much code our program is going to go into an infinite loop and the reason is because we are not doing anything to increment the x value so in for loop remember we had initialization then we had the condition and then we had increment or decrement part also right so that was taking care of the incrementation but here we have to manually do that so below this i'm just going to say x is equal to x plus 2 now the reason why i did x plus 2 is because we want to go from 1 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 so the increment is of two units right not just one you can also write x plus equal to 2 over here that is also totally fine because it is one and the same thing And now, if I save this and if I refresh our browser, you can see we got the output one three five seven nine. So let me just comment this out, and you'll understand how it goes in infinite loop. If I refresh this, you can see that it is refreshing forever, and this is basically your program going in infinite loop, and this will crash your program. So nothing will work on the website. So this is another case of infinite loop. So you have to completely stop this, open a new tab, and again you have to run the entire file, and there you go, you get back your original answer. So now coming back to the difference of while loop and for loop. So the program that we did over here can also be done using for loop, right? So where is while loop going to be used? So consider an example where you want to load some data. So you have some data coming in and you don't know the number of lines or number of rows of data that is going to come in. So every time it's going to be different. So in that scenario you don't know how many times you want to print that data or you want to store it somewhere or you want to display it. So in that case you can use while loop wherein you can give in the condition that till the rows or till the data is coming in keep on executing or keep on displaying it another example can be let's say a user is inputting some value and depending upon what he inputs you want to print something or you want to keep on doing something so let's say he is inputting an alphabet a and when he clicks a you want to do something but when he clicks x you want to stop the process so in the while loop you can see that when that character that he enters becomes x only then you stop the process otherwise you keep on going so that can be one example right now since we haven't still seen the dom manipulations wherein we take input from user i'm not able to give you a very particular example wherein only while loop will work but as we move ahead in the series we might see a program wherein only while loop will work and then you'll understand the difference between for and while otherwise as i mentioned both of them are entry controlled looping control statements wherein the condition is first checked so if this x less than 10 was not true this statements wouldn't have been executed at all but in exit controlled 
loop statement that is the do while loop which we'll see in the next video what happens is the loop executes one time for sure even if the condition is false so you'll understand that in the next video so yeah that's it for this video guys this was a very short video on while loop i just wanted to show you the syntax as we move ahead we'll take more complex examples we'll combine all the fundamentals that we've learned and we'll write more programs so the idea will be more clear so that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed on this channel make sure you subscribe so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video peace